Hello everyone, it's Mr. Dowd here. So uh, today we're going to go through on how to use Google Sheets. So it's similar to uh, Microsoft Excel. All right, so at this point, I'm going to assume you know how to get to the different Google apps. You just tap, tap that button up in the right hand corner, go down to whatever app you're going to. So you see how I had adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing here. So you can use these um cells as a multiplication or whatever kind of table you're kind of going to do it's like a calculator so say you want to add five and eight all right now we'll put all the solutions on the d column here so how to do that is you press the you put the equal sign in there you see how the equal sign goes into this line up here it's f of x that means it's a function which is another way of saying it's just a multi uh, it, you can do whatever you want on here kind of thing you can solve for anything you can do complex math really simple math it's all the same on here so after you press the equal sign say i want to add in the b column you see how it says b1 you add the plus for adding and then the c column so it's b1 and c1 so b1 c1 and just press enter it'll be 13. So from here on out, you can just, I'll show you. So say you want to add 10 and 22. All right. So instead of having to put in the whole equal and press each B2 and C2, you can take and drag that corner down. It'll automatically put the function in for it. All right. So it'll always show B2 plus C2 and so on and so forth. So for subtracting, you don't use the plus sign, obviously. You want to use the minus sign, right? So it'll be 9 minus, so B5 minus C5, right? For multiplying, say we want to multiply 10 and 22. We already did 22 earlier. So let's do 25. So press the equal, that, and now you do the star for multiplying. Not that's the symbol that they use for multiplying on here. Press that and press enter. Okay. And the last one we'll do 500 divided by five. So one last time. Dividing. So you see that backslash? That's what they use for dividing on here. And it solves it all for you. So this is what we're going to be doing for today is making sure you can use this. And maybe if you guys do well on this, I can make another one where you use different solve for X kind of functions. All right. Have a good day. Hi Gators, Mrs. Fairburn here with my daughter Haley. Hey guys. She's going to show us a new recipe that she likes with avocado. And this could be good for breakfast or even as a snack. So she's going to start to prepare the avocado. Avocado is one of your healthy fats and it's also used to make guacamole. So some of you have ever had guacamole. I know I've heard you ask about avocado in the past classes we've had. So I know that it's something that you definitely have eaten, but it's a healthy fat, it's very good for you, but there's a certain way to cut it. Can you show them the pit? Yeah, so I went all the way around. You only need a butter knife. Just go all the way around in a circle and then it'll just come right apart. You'll know they're ready to use if they're soft on the outside. Um, so this one looks pretty good. We only need one half, because uh, we're just using one piece of bread, but you can, have more if you're more hungry. And then you just go across and then down the middle. And I'll make little squares in there. So then once our toast is ready, we can just scoop it out and put it easily on there. So we'll make an avocado toast. So instead of putting butter on your toast or peanut butter even, which is all, those are very good options. She's gonna use the avocado like a butter spread. So she's gonna spread it on. Um, so it makes it for a healthier toast. Avocado 
has a lot of protein and it fills you up. So it's something that we're less, if you eat avocado toast, when are you hungry again? If you eat it for breakfast. Well. I'm good until lunch for sure. It definitely yeah. holds me over more than peanut butter does. So yeah. that's why I do So that. it's a good healthy option. Yeah. All right. So what do we do? See how they're cut up into squares? Do we take this stuff out? Do you uh, scoop it out? Yes, okay. with the spoon. And if um, you're using the side with the pit, uh, you just can scoop that out with the spoon, or you can like wedge it out with the knife. But yeah. I'm gonna save that one for another time because it's just easier to use this side right now. Okay. I'm gonna grab the bread that's in the toaster. It just needs a few more minutes. But so when you buy these, sometimes they're really hard. I personally don't eat avocados often, but she eats them all the time. So they're really hard and we just leave them out like with the bananas and stuff until they get soft. And then you're able, that, that's when you know you can um, cut them and eat them. Okay, but these are sold any store. I'm sure you've seen them down at the bodegas too. I've um, farmer's markets and uh, market basket. Oh, that looks good. Toast. <laughs> okay. All right. So next you'll scoop it out with your spoon. And it's okay if it's not perfect because we're just going to be smushing it down with our fork anyways. So. Okay. see yeah then you just take the fork and you just press it all down on it and then so the avocado I've eaten them plain as a snack too but they're really not that flavorful unless you put salt and pepper on there so you're gonna want to put a little bit of each on there and this is how I usually eat it but sometimes if I want a little spice I'll put my favorite hot sauce on there you know there's a lot of different ones out there I like sriracha so I just drizzle a little bit on there if I'm feeling adventurous yeah and that's it it's quick and easy snack oh you know what else you could put on there an egg yeah, sometimes I do egg too. Yeah. Scrambled or sunny side up, but yeah. You can hold it closer. And that's there. avocado toast. Yay. All right, another healthy snack. Where did you learn that from? Not me. She didn't learn that from me. Um, I don't know. It's just something that became popular. Uh, like I just heard about it, I think on social media. And I always like guacamole, so I figured it's something close to that that's quicker to make. Okay, and this is the sriracha, the hot sauce, but I'm sure you guys know all about this. And I tried this by accident, and it's, it's hot, spicy. Yeah. All right, so until next time. Bye, guys. Happy snacking. Bye. <laughs> Hi, guys. Mrs. Fairburn again. Just want to remind you about your food journals and also to record your drinks. Some of you seem to be having a little trouble with the Google Sheets or finding it or editing it. If you want, you can just write it down, but you need to keep track of what you're eating um, every day for the week, all right? So, and if we're going into next week as well. So don't, I don't wanna see anything blank. Just write down what you ate. I don't wanna hear, I can't remember, because usually you remember what you ate. So um, just keep on top of it. If for some reason it's too complicated on the computer, keep it in a little notebook. All I'm asking is that you have some type of food journal. Okay, bye. I want to show you real quick just how to do a little bit of translating. For those of you who are struggling understanding the directions in English, there is a great website that is called DeepL. Okay, so I'm going to go into Google Classroom. I'm going to look here. And I'm going to see Thursday, September 24th, 2020, Enrichment TV. When I click on it, 
I have all these instructions, okay? Some of you may have a hard time understanding it. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to highlight it and then I am going to press Control C and I'm gonna copy it. And then I'm gonna open up another web tab. So I'm gonna to go to this plus sign in Google Chrome and now I'm gonna type in Deep L. And that comes up deepl.com translator. Now, when I go to this translator site, on the left-hand side, I am going to press Control V, and there are all my instructions. And look at that, it translates it right into Spanish for me, okay? And if you don't want it in Spanish, if you are one of our French-speaking friends, you can go to French and it will translate it into French. Or you can go to Portuguese, maybe some of our Brazilian friends, and it will translate it into Portuguese Brazilian or regular Portuguese. Or we could go to Russian, das vadanya, nas dorovia. Okay? So this is Deep L Translate. It's gonna be a great tool if you are struggling understanding our instructions in English, this will help you translate them into your native language. Okay, hope that helps. Great job, bye. Hey guys, it's Mrs. Bloomer. I hope that you guys have been enjoying learning about Salvador Dali, the surrealist artist. We looked at this painting, which is a famous one of his, Again, it's called The Persistence of Memory, and it looks like something out of a dream. One of the themes that Salvador Dali liked to show in his artwork was, were animals. So the subject matter oftentimes would be animals. Here's an interesting one. So in this painting, you can see these tigers, but look at this giant fish. Can you see the giant fish that looks like he's eating the tiger? Oh my goodness. So that is something that's not likely to happen in real life, but in a dream, sure. Look at this picture of an, an animal. And look at his legs. So that's what makes it dreamlike, that strange elongation of those legs. Elephants don't have long legs like that, not in real life, but in dreams. So the surrealist artists often showed animals, but again, they would be in situations or they would be drawn in a way that seems dreamlike or a little bit unrealistic, not real. For the last project I'd like you to do is I would like you to draw a picture of an animal, but I want one part of the animal to be an object that you wouldn't expect to see on that animal's body. You can do an instrument or some other kind of object. It's up to you. But I would like to see a drawing of some kind of an animal, and you wanna change one thing on that animal that looks a little bit strange something that makes it look like it's not a realistic animal and that it's something from your dreams. Be creative and have fun. Hey guys, welcome to Virtual Pre-E. I'm Miss Reedy. I'm Miss Amy. All right, today we're gonna do our workout. Um, we're gonna do immediate like portion. So we're gonna do five sets with eight different activities, all right? And we're gonna be switching back and forth, me and Mr. Mean. So let's get working. Okay, we're gonna do a squat, okay? Wanna make sure our feet, our shoulders width apart, flat on the ground, we're gonna keep our head up, and we're squatting down to parallel, so your legs and your butt are parallel to the floor. We're gonna do four reps. Ready, here we go. One. Two, three, four, all right, 
For this one, we're going to do a squatted punch, and we're going to do 20 of them. Okay, so you want to get down nice and low and get ready to punch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Here we go. Third set. Four squats. Four squats. Ready? Begin. One. Two, three, four, all right, for your third activity, we're going to do some lunges, okay, here we go, we're going to go forward first, both legs, then we go to the right, and then we're going to go to the left, and then we're going to repeat, so one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, I mean, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Go, get ready again. Next set. Ready, begin. One, two, three, four. All right, we're going to do side kicks, and we're going to do 20. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, we're on to set number two. This time I'm going to take the lead and we're going to start with four squats. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's go to squat punches, squat position. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifty, sixty, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Back to our four squats. One, two, Three, four. Okay, front and side lunges. Here we go, start off our left foot. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Four squats. One, two, three, four. Side leg raises, here we go, start left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 10, 11, 12, 13, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, so now we're on our third set. Mr. Yamin, take it away. Here we go. Here we go. Four squats. Get ready. Begin. One, two, three, four. Squat punches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Squats, set, begin. One, two, three, four. Lunges, here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20. Next set of squats. Good set. Begin. One, two, three, four. Side kicks. I'll do like Mr. Yumin did. <laughs> One, High school. two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Step four, here we go. Squats. One, two, three, four. Squat punches. Set. Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Four squats. One, two, three, four. Front side lunges. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 
18, 19, 20. Four squats. One, two, three, four. Side leg raises. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Here we go. Squats. Four. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four. Squat punches. Last set. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Squats. Go. Begin. One, two, three, four. Last lunges. Let's go. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Here we go. Once again. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four. Sidekicks. Last one. We can do this. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. We hope you enjoy the workout. Stay, stay keeping buff. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Enrichment TV, Gators. Remember, work hard, be nice, and we'll see you tomorrow.